It was a late development. I studied art in art schools in Australia and then that was just a general art course and eventually I started drawing plants in this botanical way and I was encouraged to take up some botany part one at Melbourne and uh, I did the part one um, lectures and some of the dissections which all helped me and the botanists used to take me to the mountains and that, hel that gave me a more technical approach and I wanted very much to be a botanical artist professionally so I came, went to London and I had no introductions at all to botanists but I wanted to go to Kew and I took some of my drawings there and eventually they took me in not, not ever on the staff, people think I was, but I've always worked for myself and I've worked, done a great deal of work for Kew and other botanical institutions but always as a free agent and I worked on Curtis's botanical magazine for Kew for about 25 years. I was its principal contributing artist and uh, at the same time or for 14 years during that time I was also working on the endemic flora of Tasmania and that was a privately sponsored thing and all the plants were sent to me from Tasmania and the botanist Dr. Winifred Curtis was working in Hobart, Tasmania. She was an English woman writing the text and I was an Australian doing the drawings in England with the plants being flown across to me. It was a very, very expensive and complicated undertaking but it came out eventually in six large volumes and they are here at the LSU library. But it was a very exciting uh, 14 years with all these lovely things coming from Tasmania.